the basis of all connection is trust. Trusting our teammates means that we're able to rely on each other. We care about each other. But trust also means that we're able to own the mistakes that we make. We earn trust not through grand gestures, but through small, pixel-sized actions and moments. Teams are built on mutual trust as a foundation, and so many actions of the of, that I'll talk over in the course of this talk are specifically designed to help us build trust in our teams. But trust starts when we look beyond the pixels that we see on our screens and make space for our humanness. When I joined CircleCI last year, I met with everyone in our engineering organization to get to know the people in our teams. During one of those conversations, one of our engineers said to me, I need to meet my team in person every once in a while to remind myself that they're actual people. This sentiment struck a chord with me, and I've been thinking about it since. When we largely interact with two-dimensional piles of pixels on screens or with icons and chats, it's just so easy to forget that who we interact with are actual humans. When we center each other's humanness, we go beyond knowing the areas of expertise that our teammates have or what they're getting done in their day. We get curious about who they are as people, what drives and motivates them, and what frustrates them. Recently, when a new team was formed in our company, they created a document in which everyone on the team introduced themselves to the others. They talked about things like how they got into tech, their career so far, their pets, their hobbies, and what they care about in their lives. I also have a theory that special interest channels in company chats, with many of you may, which many of you may know, are so popular for the exact same reason. They allow us to see each other as humans, and they help us connect at an interpersonal level. But honestly, it's also just really cool to know that one of my teammates made another successful sourdough bread on the weekend, another built, built a Lego fort with their kids, and one other built a, built a new keyboard. I also think it really helps to be mindful of special events in our teammates' lives, like knowing which holidays, anniversaries, or birthdays they care about and reaching out to them on those days. But part of being human is also that all of us have very different values and expectations around how we prefer to collaborate, communicate, and what matters to us. Many of those are shaped by the work cultures that we grew up in, the societies, our backgrounds, and our, our work in tech so far. These are often implicit, and we connect, can connect as a team by surfacing them and talking about what we expect from each other and what we value as a team.